What is good guys, we are here with a game 3, Lord Outridge vs Malekith and we see some sticky webs offense. I don't know if this is the team, this looks like the team Sorry uses, like the guy he made he had a guest video from YouTube. He used some webs team like this and it had Zarex, so I don't know if this is Zarex too. Oh, Malekith, this is the same team he brought in game 1, unless he changed, unless he has some other sets. He was, um... Ash Greninja. I think it was the Continental Crush Guard Chomp. I think it was Physical Coco. Yeah. Protect the leftovers land with HPS Earthquake. Rocks. Stan Alfini. With Madness and Torn and Defog and stuff. Ash Grin. Did I already say that? Yeah, okay. And you turn this off, I think. But yeah, you could have changed the set I'm on. Yeah, it could be Torn Greninja, but there's also potential magic code that you would do, would have to think about, even if you're Torn Ninja. But I think you just go for the Hazard here if you're a lot out, which, because Torn Ninja is unlikely, he's probably just going for the Dark Pulse Flinch. Or slash the Water Shuriken Crit. Not nah, pretty Dark Pulse Flinch, right? Now, how much does Water Shuriken do to this? Maybe Water Shuriken kills us if he gets 5 hits and the Kalk. Manaphy with a tail glow up looking kind of scary under under sticky web. It's just saying in general. I could see Manaphy doing some work later on. No, I was just thinking here if he um should predict the taunt, I think. But I think he's. Um, I don't think he has Tawn and Greninja. So he goes Bishop because that covers a Tawn and a Dark Pulse play. Lord Outrage making a good, really nice play there. Well, wow. I didn't think I would be Tawn. It's Tawn Ash Greninja. What? Is it like. Is it like. Splash play? Or is it. Is it? I don't think it's specs. Torn is not a set, really. Yeah, it's not specs. Probably splash play, something like that. The move bishop. Who? That Greninja is getting cooked. Okay, that did nothing. What the fuck? Wait, that did nothing. Wait, what? That did fifty six. What was that? Dude, Dark Pulse did 41, maybe it's, maybe it's Dreadblade Greninja or something, why did it do so much, yeah. And the Black Hole Eclipse didn't do that much more than the Dark Pulse and it's a Z-move and Greninja's frails, I really don't understand. Oh yeah, Malekith probably revealed that he's not Specs Gren from game 1. Bishop just gets sacked off to the pump, like he didn't have a good switch into that anyway. So this Greninja set is really good um, in this matchup. If he stayed in with the Smiggle there, unless he went for Magic Code, it would have been amazing for Malekith. But yeah, this worked out well for Malekith anyway. Got a kill on the Bisharp. This Greninja is still decently healthy. Can still out of range from Shadow Sneak from the Mimikyu. The Star Bolt is gonna do a lot to the man. If he, I think he has to go for Energy Ball here. This looks good for Malekith. Whoever wins this moves on to top four. Which yeah, I'm pretty hyped for the top four. We will find out in a few minutes after this game finishes who will play versus who. And I already saw League say that whereas my opponent wanna play right after when the game comes out. Oh he goes for serve, that's a wild play. So it wouldn't have killed a ninja, I don't think. So Coco takes a good chunk there. 
I don't know if that's man modest man of you, but they did a little bit more than I thought it would have thought it would. I'd probably go for what did Malekith reveal? He was physical cook, right? He had Brave Bird and U-turn. I don't remember the rest. Um, I don't think he showed other moves. It was Coco in game one when he used the same team. Like, I was like, I could I think about, like, I would potentially HP eyes here. But then I remembered, um, I don't think he has that. He goes Lando because he thinks it's a physical Coco and yeah, it goes for U-turn. So it is a physical Coco, so it didn't change that. This is probably Z move Lander of not that the we always saw the Z move Bishop. Okay, I'm actually on some drugs, I'm sorry guys. Yeah, we already saw Z move Bishop. Just making sure that no one At least I noticed my mistake immediately. <laughs> Maybe this is some SmackDown line of a stall. So you can go Greninja here. And if he thinks. He can calc the damage if it's offensive Lando. 9% looks like offensive Lando to me because it did a lot. So I guess it, it's not out. Like, not 100% out that it's Scarf Lando. It could still be Scarf Lando. But sticky webs, like he has sticky webs, he has um, priority from Bishop. Shadow Snake is a weak priority, but he has priority from Mimiki too. So I don't think he ha necessarily needs a Scarfer. Scarfland was really weird. Um, I mean, I know web Scarfland without Speed Valkorona after Krivenance, but. I feel like he would be SD in Lando. Okay, so he brought the guard charm, which means this could be. Oh yeah, he showed Zeke on the crush in game one. This could be SD guard charm. Showed um, Alquick and Stonage, if I recall correctly, in game one, Z Stonage. Did he show anything else? I think he's just gonna SD up with his jumper. Oh, he's. Would it be mixed jump with HPIs? I don't think so. There's no way. That would be weird sad. <laughs> hmm, if I always doesn't have HPIs. Yeah, go for Earthquake here, or you... I don't think Hot Mimic is an option, I think you just go for Earthquake. If you... Like... I would... Just go for the hardest hitting move that I have to hit the Scar Jump. Mm, Keep okay, Mimic use this guy, it's kinda cool for... Actually, this guy isn't that good this game. Like, it's still good to have, obviously, but... Like, it's not like Mimikyu Disguise helps us beat the Coco 1v1. Because the Cocos can just u turn out into the land, or land beats Mimikyu. And then this guy is broken. And yeah, he also... Like, since the Coco is physical, this Landers is kind of nice for Outrage to keep. Yeah, so... It just went hard for the Z Continental Crush. Never mind, he changed the set to Hydro Vortex. Okay, that's a. Whew, that makes a lot of sense. I can 100% understand that you would want to change some sets. Because you already used the same exact mons in game one. So that's a nice way to catch your opponent off guard. But I don't know if Average actually scouted for that because he made actually the right play. Whew, got, got the Mana on the Z Aqua Tail. I think that's Aquatail, right? Hydrovotics. I don't think Garchomp gets another water move. So this could have Ice Beam. So. Greninja has a potential switch in here. Okay, we just see Dragon Claw get some damage off. Manaphy gets the Citrus Berry. So this is the bulky Manaphy set. And that doesn't even turn KO. Wow. Why did I do nothing? 
Did the chip damage to the Garchomp? I guess it's just Garchomp's natural bulk. I don't think this is modest mana fee if it only did 46. Citrus mana fee is like common on Baton Pass. I don't know if it's set on. Like if it's common on Sticky Webs. Garchomp goes for SD knowing it can live a Surf. Now it's in Shadow Sneak Range from Mimikyu. What do you sack here? Yeah, I think you sacked the mana fee. The Smeagol, does it get reps on anything? Yeah, you can sack the Manaphy then get up something with the Smeagol if he wants to do that. Or you can go for Shadow Sneak with the Mimikyu. I guess you could get, go for webs with Smeagol here. Yeah. Hmm. Like, rocks don't do that much versus Malachi's team. So I don't think that's the play, but we will see what he does. He goes for webs exactly. And yeah, Smuggle has to get sacked off here. Like you don't have a switch into plus two chomper unless you wanna risk the Mimikyu. But yeah, obviously you don't risk the Mimikyu. Melk has already made the ultimate UF like play in case you wanted to go Mimikyu. And he will go for Shadow Sneak here. To keep his disguise intact. And I can see Melk is going to Landris saving this as fodder. It would be a wild play. Oh, that should go for SD here, breaking the land. Or, but since he's not Z move, Mimikyu, I don't think he made a prediction. Yeah, he just went for Shadow Sneak, safe play. Life of Mimikyu, yeah, since he's alive, you already should Z move Bishop, so. But even even a plus one Z move wouldn't have killed the lander from full. I don't think it would have. Mimikyu is not that strong. It seems so, like. Underwhelming is that the correct word? Man, just not the best. Sometimes I just struggle with words. Let me see. Mimikyu, 90 base attack. Wow, that thing is weak. I've used it once, and that's like a few months. That was three months ago or so. I mean, yeah, he didn't really need Chomp, but my dude said hurts. But uh, Chomp is nice as a fodder, I guess. Yeah, he's kind of right. He doesn't need a chump really. Like, like he doesn't really need a fodder because he has like the upper hand. What's like, he has so many months left. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I still understand going lander though, because the shadow sneak was pretty obvious there. Um, okay, now he goes for SD. Wait. Does this have haze? Why didn't he just earthquake? Oh, he wants to defog the webs away. That makes some sense. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is fine for Malekith. Gets rid of the webs and... I'm pretty sure this might live a hit. This probably lives a plus three player off. And yeah, he has bullet punch on Scizor. Yeah, they are right in the chat. This is not a joke. Getting rid of the webs is fine, so Zart does not beat the Coco and the Gren. Yeah, I think Malekith takes this, but I'm never gonna speak too soon in, in a tour game after that game too, good god. Yeah, oh well, yeah, apparently they said after the chatting, I think he didn't have Hydro Pump in game 2. Because otherwise that would have been so weird if you had Pump. Like, you would go for it because it's um, only 20% to miss a pump. You guys will know what I'm talking about if you saw game 2. Go for player I think he needs a crit. Yeah, this doesn't kill. He would have needed a crit. This guy's broken. So this is in check now. Bullet punch is an option. Shuriken. Like, he has just ways to kill this now. But it's not Specs Ninja, so I don't know if Shuriken kills guaranteed. But Mimikyu is kind of frail. But yeah, Bullet Punch kills for sure. But you can go... Um, he's obviously sacking his Feeny here, right? Oh, he can sack his Guard Chomp too. But, I don't know. SD again. 
I guess that that's where he gets more damage off on the scissor with Shadow Sneak. Mm. But it doesn't really do that much for a lot of outrage. I thought he would just go hard at Zard if the scissor comes out to save this Mimikyu as like fodder or something. So I don't think I would have his deed again. Yes, I'm posted a Kulk. <laughs> oh, that was the Kulk from plus four life or Mimikyu has already posted plus six. Yeah, yeah, now sure he can obviously kill since the since he took that Moonblast. So this is probably Zad why the way he brings this out, because Zad why is a good spadav and can take a pump. Oh he's Zad X, so he's going for the Yeah, okay, Zad X makes sense. Going for the dodge, but it's SD, yeah, this game is over. Um <laughs> Like even if he killed the if you killed the Greninja, yeah, they wouldn't have done anything. Yeah, Dark Pulse is obviously the correct play on Malekith. Going for Hydro Pump and missing would be a potential choke. Dark Pulse and Dushuring would have killed this. And Malekith moves on to semi finals with T. Pretty nice. Um, interesting series. I um, didn't really like Game 3 that much. But yeah, definitely a cool series other than that. Mm. Yeah, I don't really know if this is really sorry it's trick on team. Uh, rap team, I might have to ask him. I don't think it is, but I will have to ask. Because, like I said, he used Zodex on the sticky rap team, and he also had Bishop and Manaphy, and I don't really know if he had Mimikyu and Landorus. But yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Hope you all enjoyed this best of three. And let me s check out the thread. Here we have the the series. So Ben Gabe won with J stays. Maybe one with the one that host Kaido. League one versus Poik and Malekis one versus Lord Outrage. And let me see if the semi-finals post is already up. I assume it's not up yet. Nah, we just know the results now, so I don't think it's up yet. Actually, it might be up. Let me see. Let me see. Let me click on tournaments. Yeah, it's not up yet. We will get that in like one hour or something. Or in like later on in the day. Yeah, peace out friends. This was fun. So that's a, that's a really cool set by Malekith's Taunt Greninja. With like Splash Blade or whatever. Like especially for this web matchup, it was so huge. Like Lord Alvich even scouted for it going Bishop on Dark Pulse slash Taunt but it still worked out for Malekith so well. Yeah, peace out friends, I don't know what I'm trying to ramble about. 